everyone. My, my name is RJ Shepard. I'm with Bike Lab PDX, and today we're going to talk about uh, OpenStreetMap. So if you were to just go straight to OpenStreetMap, um, this is what you might find. Uh, you can see that uh, this looks like any kind of uh, Google Map or Yahoo Maps or even MapQuest, if you're familiar with that. Um, you know, it's mostly uh, roads uh, and parks, and you can see uh, the river and so on and so forth. And so, you know, this is just important to recognize that, um, you know, first of all, maps are a representation, right? Um, maps, in this case, what uh, the authors are most interested in, and, and potentially the consumers as well, is uh, really roads. Um, that seems to be kind of the major focus in this um, particular map. Um, but other maps might, um, you know, want to highlight uh, different information. Um, and so that, that uh, just recognizing that uh, maps are a representation of uh, sort of the author's viewpoint um, and also uh, the audience that it's for is uh, important to recognize. And so OpenStreetMap is a little bit unique in that uh, it is actually all curated um, and uh, created um, by people like you and I. So the entire uh, map here um, has actually been edited and created by um, people uh, on the internet, basically. Um, you can kind of think of it as like Wikipedia, uh, but for maps. And so you can see that it's actually got... Um, phenomenal coverage um, and in fact in places uh, that aren't the US um, you can actually find that there might even be a higher quality coverage um, than say Google Maps um, in cases. Um, one interesting example of that might be um, let's maybe look at like the Warm Springs Reservation um, here in Oregon. Um, one thing that uh, is, is very interesting about uh, certain reservations uh, is that, uh, you know, a lot of the roads and paths are, are tend to be um, uh, not necessarily official paths. Um, you can kind of think of the, these as goat trails or other sorts of uh, uh, man-made um, desire lines. Um, and so there are a couple of cases here where you can see, you know, trails that people have made um, and so on. But I, I think that the, you know, the, the interesting part about OpenStreetMap is this ability for anyone to actually come in and um, make edits. Um, and there's a, a real um, potential then for other people to use the map however they um, really need to. So in, in obviously Bike Lab's case, um, we're very concerned about uh, biking. Um, and so you can see, uh, I've just gone over to this little tab here, opencyclemap.org. And this is a uh, version of OpenStreetMap, but um, really related to bicycling. And so here you can see the, the different bicycle routes that are um, highlighted. Um, you can see different. Uh, uh, um, so in this case, uh, you know, purple tends to be uh, paths. Blue tends to be uh, either uh, bike lanes or even shared bike routes um, or shared streets that are, that are uh, in our case in, in Portland, tend to be neighborhood greenways. Um, and then even when you sort of zoom out even further, um, you can even see things like uh, the Transamerica um, bike route here um, or even the Willamette Valley uh, trail um, or, or scenic bike route, I'd say. Um, which are all uh, here and available via OpenStreetMap. Um, now, why is this really uh, interesting? Well, um, if you are ever uh, wanting to maybe take, uh, you know, a, a bike anywhere, um, you know, a common question is, well, how do I get there by bike? Um, and so there are actually apps that are on the App Store. Um, I could put a few down in the description um, that will use the preferred uh, bike uh, uh, routes here displayed in OpenStreetMap um, and do things like minimize elevation, um, potentially minimize 
um, the distance, but sometimes um, that's maybe not the most important thing. Maybe the most important thing is for you to ride on a facility that's more comfortable. And so there's a couple different apps that allow you to do that. Um, so since this is already uh, getting a little bit long, I, I figured that we'd just go ahead and just show you a quick example of how you can edit the map. Um, and so you can see that I've signed in uh, as myself. Um, you'll have to sign up for an OpenStreetMap account in order to do this, but um, it's very, very straightforward. Anybody can make one. Um, and so let's go ahead and actually uh, figure out where we can maybe add some, some feature to the map. Um, and so one uh, thing that I did a few weeks ago, uh, well, actually a few months ago, back in uh, uh, the wintertime, uh, was I went for a bike ride um, to check out the new Hop uh, Greenway um, that you can actually see here on the map. Um, the, the dotted or the dashed uh, version of this means that it's actually a, a, uh, a proposed bike route, but um, we should probably upgrade this to actually something that's uh, active. Um, and so I, I went ahead and uh, took this out and ended up going all the way north to uh, the University of Western States here just to kind of see what this 130s Greenway was like as well. And um, one thing that I do uh, as a weird uh, uh, self-obsession is to take photos of, um, you guessed it, bike racks. Uh, and so one thing that I noticed was that Western, uh, the University of Western, uh, what is it called again? University of Western States, uh, has uh, quite a bit of bike racks in different places. Um, and so I was really impressed with that. Um, and so today I figure, you know, we'd add um, uh, some information and maybe even more bike racks um, to the uh, campus um, to show people uh, where they can buy, where they can uh, safely uh, lock up their bike. And so I noticed uh, at the very end of their uh, gym and bookstore over here, um, they've got a bunch of racks uh, or staples, I should say. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to add those into OpenStreetMap. And so the first thing that I've done is I've uh, zoomed in, in the, into the part of the map that I want to edit. Um, and thankfully, you don't have to download any software or anything. Um, there is a uh, in-browser editor that you can just uh, open by clicking the Edit buttons. Right off the bat, you'll see there's a lot of uh, different information that's being displayed, right? You've got uh, the freeways, you've got roads, you've got uh, buildings and that sort of thing. Um, so one, one thing that I just want to uh, point out is, uh, you know, we're, we're certainly um, not trying to make everything as 100% accurate as possible. You can see how, you know, the path may not be, you know, exactly in the center of the path, or even some of the, the building outlines might not be exactly, you can kind of see how this sort of um, is a little bit off. Um, but we try to make the map um, as accurate as we can. Um, and given the, the constraints that exist. Um, so let's go ahead and start uh, with just adding uh, the bike parking over here by the, you kind of see almost like a community garden that they've got going here. And so there are three different uh, features that you can add to the map. You can add points, lines, or areas. And for now, we're just going to stick with points. And so you just click on that. And I'm just going to put it sort of in the center of uh, where all those uh, uh, bike racks were there. I kind of zoom in. You know, right, right here is where all those staples were. And so I've got my point here. And on the left-hand side, it's going to ask me to uh, select a feature uh, type for this uh, new feature that I'm adding. And so you can see. Uh, on the left hand side there's a lot of different options you know whether it's maybe maybe you're trying to point out that this is a I don't know bar or fast food place or a bus stop or something um, and if you don't see it uh, at first um, go ahead and just start typing uh, for in, in the search bar up here for bicycle parking and uh, once you do that you can click that and uh, you can see here that there's a few more fields that will pop up um, as soon as you select that so you know, is that a stand? Is it a wall loop, a rack, et cetera, et cetera? What is, what is it, what do these things even mean? Well, um, there's this nice little info button off to the side here that you can click, and that will actually show you information from uh, uh, the wiki, the, uh, excuse me, the 
OpenStreetMap wiki, um, which you then can view the documentation for. And so this, this uh, wiki, uh, uh, which is separate from Wikipedia, by the way, this is a, a wiki specific to OpenStreetMap, will actually go ahead and show you um, a lot of information about how things are tagged in OpenStreetMap. Um, and so you can, you can imagine that you know, we've put this, um, this point down, but now we need to add more information to it. And so uh, this information might come in the form of you know, uh, what, what sort of rack it is, how much capacity, is it a covered or uncovered uh, uh, bicycle parking, excuse me. Um, uh, and all of those get then added as tags um, into the uh, OpenStreetMap database. And so in our case, um, we are uh, going to be adding stands um, because as this helpful image kind of shows and comparing it to our little bike rack staples there, um, this is how uh, we can sort of keep uh, things consistent is by just looking at the documentation and making sure that you know we're, we're keeping with it. Um, if it was one of those uh, wave racks, which are horrible by the way, um, you would go ahead and use the uh, bicycle parking wave um, uh, uh, tag instead. And so we're going to go ahead and select uh, stands for that. And for capacity, um, I go ahead and use the number of racks and multiply by two. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I counted uh, 17 racks. And so uh, 17 times two is 34. Uh, since you can park uh, one bike on either side of the uh, staple. And so I'm going to go ahead and put um, excuse me, 34 as the capacity. Um, we know that it is not covered, and we also know that there is no fee. Um, so just to select those. Um, and I think that's about it. And so once you're done with all that, you can click on this uh, checkbox at the top. And uh, don't forget to click Save in the top right-hand corner. And so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little comment. And I would just start off, if you're a new uh, mapper, to, to click on this box to say, I would like someone to review my edits. Um, and that way, other mappers within the community can uh, identify if there's any uh, changes um, that you should make to the way that you're mapping. Um, and I always try to put a little bit of source uh, information just to make people know, make sure people know that you know I'm not just fudging this data. Um, and so I've gone ahead and clicked uh, local knowledge there. Um, and finally, just click upload. And so this information won't be available on OpenStreetMap, um, on the Open Cycleway map uh, immediately. Um, if we were to even just refresh real quick um, and uh, zoom into the University of Western States, um, you can see these little uh, blue squares. Those are actual uh, bike parking uh, spots. And we added ours to that little kind of side of the building there. Um, and so that'll take about a day in order to show up. But now other people know that there are you know, plenty of spaces to, to park their bike. Um, and so you can do this with um, a lot of other different facilities. Um, you know, uh, for instance, um, a common one that I like to also tag are uh, restrooms and toilets. Um, especially uh, uh, at parks and that sort of thing, um, even uh, water fountains, um, also known as water taps. Um, so just uh, maybe start with uh, uh, places around your neighborhood. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try um, going too much further than sort of what you can uh, uh, find with like a, a short walk or even a short bike ride. Um, but yeah, take a photo. Um, Google Photos is neat because it'll even geotag your photos. I think uh, iOS does the same. So that way you can always come back and look at a map and say, oh, that's where you know, those are. And um, you can uh, throw that into OpenStreetMap for everyone else to use. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, we'll hopefully have a little bit more information uh, about how you can contribute to OpenStreetMap um, in other ways uh, in another video. Thanks again.